In this camp in Sudan's northeastern Kassala state, nearly 30,000 migrants are awaiting their fate. Many have fled neighboring Eritrea, entering Sudan illegally on their way to Europe. And among them, some were abducted by Sudanese Bedouin Rashaida tribesmen after they crossed into the country. After five days in captivity, we were rescued. We fled from Eritrea because we wanted freedom. But when we got here, we were captured by Rashida. The migrants were rescued by Sudanese security forces, who say dozens of Eritreans try to enter Sudan illegally every day, crossing on foot after walking for days or even weeks. Many flee to escape Eritrea's autocratic government, which enforces universal military conscription that can last decades. The Eritrean military has its agents everywhere, and they can catch us and take us back. It's not safe for us to be here for long. Sudan is a key transit point on the migrant route to Europe. From there, Eritreans travel to Libya or Egypt. Smugglers then cram them aboard rickety boats for perilous Mediterranean journeys. In a bid to curb the smuggling, Sudanese forces have stepped up their patrols along the 600-kilometer border with Eritrea. The border with Eritrea is long and complicated. Sudan alone cannot guard it, even if it uses all its equipment. We need international help. Experts say migrant smuggling has become a multi-billion dollar business, with some migrants paying up to thousands of dollars to cross. Eritreans in Sudanese camps say they live in a constant state of fear. Many still dream of reaching Europe and dread being sent back home.